morning guys how you doing what's up how's everything it's monday if you are living if you are watching this video that means you are living another day and be thankful for that but let's talk for a minute can i just talk to y'all for like one second more than one second but you get what i'm saying okay so 40 and 40 over 40 and pregnant mm. you know what I can't do it. I can't do it. My nerves is just not there. Um, my husband is 48. Do you actually think that we want another child right now? No, we don't need that. We don't need another baby. For what? We're going to be in our 60s while this kid is in the 20s. We don't have time for that. We're cheating the kid, right? Oh, don't get along. Oh, we're not pregnant. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I'm just talking in general about the women that's 40 who think it's the new 20 to get pregnant 40 and over. Now, before you ever be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, what she mean? Hold on, let me explain myself. If you have children that are grown and out the house, and I say you got two or three that's still home from the ages of 11 to 15 okay that's fine that's acceptable you did your thing you got your children but why get pregnant again yes things happen we have mistakes things happen but when you know when you get into the 40s movement you have to be extra cautious because our bodies could be like yo what's up this is menopause i'm here to um Give you a package. And we don't be going through no menopause. But then you don't see your period for three months. You're like, well, maybe I am going through menopause. Or, you know what I'm saying? And then the next month, your period comes. And you think you're in the clear. You think you're cool because, you know, you're going through menopause, right? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. But then you find out the next following, after the other three months, your period didn't come. You're three months pregnant. Who told you to play Russian roulette? Now, I have a friend. <laughs> that it happened to like that but she was a little bit older she was in her 50s and her kids were grown i think at the time her little one no she was in her mid 40s i'm gonna give her like 45 46 she was in her mid 40s and her little one was um i want to say about 12 at the time and she thought she was going through menopause the doctor confirmed hey this is it you going through menopause but honey let me tell you she found out she kept feeling weird so she went to the doctor the doctor said oh no boo you are three months pregnant and she's like what she said all she could do is sit there on that, on that table and cry girl i feel your pain because if somebody tell me today right now that i'm pregnant just take me to the insane asylum put the white coats on me and just put me in a chair so i can rock back and forth because i can't do it my nerves is just not there it's shot it's gone i'm ready to fight Every time somebody look at me, what? I'm ready to do something. I can't do it. I can't. It would be unfair to the child to, for me to bring a baby into this world at my age. I cannot. Okay? First of all, my breasts are big enough. I do not need for them to be filling up with milk and become water gallons. Water gallons. Okay? Water gallons. This is called water gallons. And I cannot do that. It's, it's already uncomfortable when I roll over. I'm already fighting with them. Like they some kind of yard dog just running around. I can't do it. And it's already bad that I have to pay for two bras $150. Yes, you heard me right. $150 for two bras. Huh. Huh. Hmm. Where they do that at? <laughs> right here. That's why I was thinking about getting a breast reduction, but they don't bother my back. They don't bother my shoulders. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. My husband likes to be all smothered in there. Boy, boy, buy and move. Anyway, um, I don't have time for that. With my last kid, he's 10. He's going to be 11 in September. I had to get a C-section because I had all the rest of them natural. Here he comes. He wants to be all big and stuff. And I had to get a C-section. So my stomach is saying, uh-uh, girl. Yeah, you got cut once, but you're not getting cut again. And then my VJJ is saying, girl, it's only time for you to get something in there. Not for nothing um, be coming out of there. So I'm listening to my body. Okay? 
But yeah, I had, you know, she was just really upset about that. Back to the story. She was really upset about that. And I was like, I didn't know what to say. Because I was like, girl, are you for real? She was like, yes. Okay, so after she done had that baby, bam, she got pregnant again. And I'm like, what is going on with you? She said, I'm miserable. I don't know what's going on. But hey, they're here. All I could do is love them. And that is true. Children are a blessing. And I had my children. I had six kids and two grands. I ain't trying <laughs> to do no more okay so and i love them dearly and i love everybody else's kids i really do and speaking of kids shout out to my girl ayana aka from the monet life she is carrying a bundle of joy in her pouch yes she is doing october yes she looks good for her age she is 40 I think she just turned 41, but she looked 12. If you don't believe me, go on over to her page and look at her. She don't look like she is a 40-year-old woman. And she's really tiny, so she can get away with that. That's my little my little niece over there. But okay, let's get back to what we were talking about. So I'm like, I don't know what to say. So now I have another friend who I went to school with. She had a problem carrying babies. And you know what? She just got pregnant, had her baby, she had a son healthy baby boy handsome as ever and that's another case you know before she was trying and couldn't and now she did and just so happened that she's in her 40s and so i'm happy for her i'm happy for anybody who could do it but i just can't do it so um and you know i'm i was i mean i cried when i heard she was because i'm like oh my god she has so many issues and finally it happened for her and i'm so happy for her i have to whenever i get to new york i'm gonna have to go make it my business to stop and see my little nephew okay so let me tell you about another incident i ain't trying to keep y'all so long y'all got things to do whatever the case may be so let me tell you, i work at a children's apartment store and the reason this is the reason why i named this video over 40 and pregnant so it's a baby store so well it's not a baby baby so it's a children's apartment store it's from the ages of newborn to 10. so okay so i'm helping this customer and i'm looking at her and i'm like this lady is not a spring chicken she is not young something is not right with her but she looks pregnant but maybe she's not maybe she got like a tumor or maybe she got something going on or maybe she just bloated because of her period or maybe she just bloated because of old age who knows but she can't possibly be pregnant so we became cool you know we was talking and everything and she was like girl i just can't do this anymore and i'm like what you about to do something i need to call the police and she's like no she said you know you funny i said girl working in this store you have to be funny to pass the time so then she was like i am pregnant i said really i said oh, how many months she said i'm seven months i said oh girl i said i can congratulations i said but it couldn't be me i can't do it no more she said you have children i said oh i have more i got children and grands she was like what she said y'all i said yeah i hear it all the time but thank you but you know i can't do the kid thing i said so um you know this is your first one homegirl said no her kids are grown and got children of their own I almost fell dead to the floor. Excuse me. Re Back up. Hold up. Rewind. Yeah, girl. My kids are grown and they live by themselves. The only one that's home with me is my 17-year-old. And I'm like, what? how old is this lady? Like, in my brain, I'm fighting with myself. Like, this is she for real, for real? So I'm like, well, ma'am, if you don't mind me asking, I'm like, how old are you? You know, when you're like in your 40s or something. She said, no, I am 55. I said, whoo. She said, but I feel good. I say, uh, okay. I didn't know what to say at that time. But she didn't feel good because she looked miserable. She had this screw face. She didn't look like she was tired and then would be bothered. So, okay. So I'm like, 55, so you wait so long? She was like, it just happened. I said, oh. I said, okay. But now I'm doing the calculations. When her child turns 20, she's going to be 75 years old. He, he or she ain't going to have that much time with her on this earth. So I'm, I just don't understand. Like, why wait so late? Or what's going on? What is really going on? Maybe I need to read more articles. Maybe there's something else. There's something in the water. I don't know. So another lady came to my store weeks later. And we was talking, and she just mean and evil because she came there before. 
she's just walking around she said i just i just can't i said what's wrong she said well first of all i'm doing this all over again and i'm like doing what what are you doing all over again she said oh i'm pregnant i said oh really how many months are you girl i'm eight months i said oh i said is this your first baby no and then well i know it ain't her first baby she was like no i have three sons and they all grown i said oh, okay I said, do they have children? She said, yeah, I'm a grandma, too. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? She was like, I'm 50. I said, oh. She said, 50 is a new 30. And I said to myself, oh, no, it's not. Because you know why? When we get older, things happen in our bodies that we can't control. Some of us, it don't happen to us until we're late, older in age. Some of us, it happens early. I just can't do it. My grandmother always said, when you have a baby at an old age, you won't have an old looking baby. And that's what my grandmother always said. You know how they do them old wives tale or whatever. She said, you have a child while you old, it's going to come out looking old and it's going to move old. So, uh, mm -mm. even though it might not be true, but it always play in the back of my head. And so I was like, oh, okay. I said, so how do they feel about you being pregnant? They was like, my kids think I'm bonkers. Oh, they told you that? She said, yes. My son said, Mom and Dad, y'all are nuts and something is really wrong with y'all. I said, wow. I said, okay, that's coming from your kids. Hmm. I said to myself, hmm, high five to them. But anyway, I just, you know, I'm not saying it's bad to have a baby. I just think that, you know, in your older years, it's kind of, you can have the baby, but it's, it's going to take a lot. On, it's a lot of winds here on your body because it's complications. And that's why the doctors are always saying that a woman over 35 is high risk. Something can, anything can happen. You know, so I'm just saying, y'all be careful. You know, if you can push it on out, hey, more glory to you. This chick right here can't do it. Mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. I cannot. I love kids. Well, I used to love children, but um. <laughs> I love somebody else's kids. I love my children, but I I don't love them that much to the point where I'm like, oh, you come over here and stay, cause I'm like, no, I'm not changing no diapers. I can't change no diapers no more. I can't do um holding the bottle and feeding the baby with the bottle. I can't do that. That's not for me. You should have swimming with my little grandson. I was getting impatient because he wasn't sucking the bottle fast enough. I can't do it. But anyway, that's all I want to say. I'm glad I had y'all to talk to. Um, and I will see y'all later because I have to do a little review on my little lip cream from NYX. And I will see you later. Thank you for letting me rant and rave about being pregnant over 40 and 50 and all that kind of mess because it ain't happened to me. Like I said before, I'm telling y'all first, if it happens to me, just put the white coats on me and put me in the insane asylum. And let me just sit in a chair and rock back and forth. And when I have the baby, just put the baby right next to me and put the baby in a streak in a, in a white jacket too. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying because I can't do it. I can't. My nerves are just gone. But I'll talk to y'all later though. Ciao.